The Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War, which started on July 6, 1967 to January 13, 1970, was a political conflict caused by the attempted secession of the southeastern province of Nigeria. The two major actors of the war was Colonel Chukwemeka Ojuku, the military governor of Southeast, and General Yakubu Gowon, the military head of state of Nigeria. Many believe that neither Gowon nor Ojuku was the right leader for that desperate time because they were two friends, blinded by ego, hindered by lack of administrative experience, and obsessed with interpersonal competition and petty rivals. As a consequence, failed to make appropriate and wise decisions throughout the conflict. General Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuhu was born into the wealthy family of Sir Louis Ojuhu on November 4, 1933. Ojuhu had his university education at Oxford University in England before enlisting into the Nigerian army against his father's wish who wanted him to join the family business. General Yakub Gowon was born on October 19, 1934 in Plateau State under circumstances very different from that of Emeka Ojuhu. His parents were Christian missionaries. He spent several years doing his early development in Zaria and received military training in Ghana before proceeding to the legendary officer training school in San Jose, England. He returned to Nigeria and became a star officer. Ojuku and Gowon friendship began earlier in 1961 when they found themselves with the United Nations Peacekeeping Force in Congo. But when Irunsi was killed in the counter queue of young Northern officers, on July 29, 1966, it was Yakubu Gowon who was chosen to become the head of state and commander-in-chief of the armed forces. This was the beginning of Ojuhu and Gowon's disagreement. Ojuhu rejected Gowon's ascendancy on the ground that he was not the most senior in the Nigerian army. With Iro dead, Brigadier Baba Ogundobe, the chief of staff, Supreme Headquarters, was the most senior officer in the country, but he realized that the Northern officers had not risked their lives to install him in power as General Irunsi's successor. Perhaps, fearing that the Q plotters might eliminate him as well, he escaped from the country. Anter date of seniority meant that Gowon, who joined the army in 1954, and Ojuhu, who joined in 1957, were at pair because of Ojuhu's university degree. Ojuhu was the first indigenous quartermaster general, and Gowon was the first adjutant general. With the killing of Irunsi, followed with the installation of Gowon as head of state and also the mass killing of Christian Igbos in the north, tension between southern and northern Nigeria heightened. War was inevitable. Ojuhu, as the governor of eastern region, threatened to pull the southeastern Nigeria out of the republic to form an independent state. After several unfruitful attempts to bring Ojuhu and Gowon to a negotiating table, a last-ditch summit was held from January 5th in Aburi, Ghana, to discuss the areas of conflict. Aburi, Ghana was chosen because of Ojuhu's request for a neutral ground, claiming he was not safe outside of the southeast. In an effort to foster peace between the two parties, General Joseph Ankara of Ghana offered a neutral meeting place in Ghana. The major discussion and resolution signed in Aburi was the need for Eastern Region to recognize Gowon as Supreme Commander and also a return to Confederate system. Many intellectuals and key members of Ojuku's cabinet in the East had a better understanding of how a Confederate system works and how much power to be delegated to the central government. But Gowon's led delegation of federal cabinet and the powerful interests in the North had little or no understanding of how a confederate system works. Both parties left Abu Rigana with different understanding of what a confederation meant and how it would work in Nigeria. Many felt Ojuhu took undue advantage of his academic prowess to negotiate in favor of the Eastern Region government. Two months after the Aburi summit, the Aburi resolution had yet to be implemented. The failure of Gowon to implement the decisions of the Aburi Accord led to Ojuhu severing all Biafran ties to Nigeria, which ultimately led to the Nigerian Civil War. Nigeria has existed as one country on the The Nigerian army fired the first shot in the war in an attempt to restore federal government authority in Lagos and the breakaway eastern region.
At the peak of Nigerian civil war in 1968, hundreds of thousands of Biafrans starved to death. The disagreement on shipments between Gowon and Ojuhu were more to be blamed for the failure of relief material reaching the dying children. Men and women were desperately in need of food. Gowon discontinued air shipment to the eastern region despite pressure from the United States and the Red Cross. Initial shipments by the Red Cross suspected to be pro Biafran at that time, was delivering 16 to 20 tons of food a night, feeding an estimated 850,000 people in Biafra, three square meals per week. But Gowon's led military government barred the airlifting, which originated from Sao Tome and Principo, a Portuguese colony at that time. Portugal was among the few European nations that backed Biafra, but Gowon was under pressure from almost the entire Hausa population not to allow any relief material, particularly anyone which involved air traffic, into Biafra. The only option given to go on by the Northern Allied was to allow land shipment to Biafra land. But Ojuhu, with more concern in winning the war, refused to accept the conditions spelled out by the federal government for delivering food to the troubled region. Ojuhu refused to accept this condition, even while thousands of Igbos, including children, were starving to death. Ojuhu rejected food shipments sent by road, fearing there might be poison and that such route might open an advanced corridor for federal government troops. While all this happened, at least 400 to 600 people died a day from starvation. Now, do you believe that the gruesome conflict would have been avoided were it not for the seeming clash of ego between the two protagonists, Chuhu Emeka Odumegu Ojuhu? and General Yakubu go on. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Thank you. you.